And that wasn't the only star um, with a debris disk that's we found planets. We get to uh, everybody's favourite debris disk star, Beta Pictoris. And this one, uh, once again, same technique. Oh, it really does stand out there, doesn't it? Yep, Impressive. so it looks like this one's got a planet. In this case, yeah. it's a pretty, this one's much closer in. This is only about as far out as Jupiter is, or maybe actually more like Saturn's distance out. So, Paul, we remember that Beta Pictoris is the object that had that amazing uh, disk that was edge-on that had a little flare that we thought might be due to a planet or something. How, how is this situated to explain that? It looks like it's more or less of the inside of this disk and it might well have the right sort of orbit to be able to cause this flare. So that seems to kind of work. It also could be staring up the, the debris disk to cause the big rocks to collide and make all the dust that we see. So Beta Pic really has it all. It's got this debris disk, it's got a planet, it has comets by the score. So here's an artist's um, impression of Beta Pictoris actually taken before this discovery. So this actually shows multiple planets with collisions and giant comets and disks and you name it. Though in fact this planet that we've seen is very massive. We're talking maybe about ten times the mass of Jupiter. That's assuming it started really hot and the age of Beta Pictoris is a bit controversial. So it could be even near 20. It might be a brown dwarf rather than a okay. planet. Hmm. But it does look like this is a solar system which has it all. So if we look at that planet uh, and see what its spectrum looks like though. It has uh, these uh, features, which again suggest clouds. Yes, yeah, so the blue points of the actual data for Beta Pictoris, these different coloured lines are spectra of brown dwarfs. And what you can see is they don't actually do a very good job of fitting it. Right. So once again, what you need here is some clouds to bring this up here to give it a flat, and up there to give it a flat spectrum. So we seem to be seeing a trend that these things are cloudier than you'd expect from their temperature. Hmm. So it kind of looks like we're a pattern here. We found planets, big planets, you know, five to ten times the mass of Jupiter or thereabouts, but they've all been around very massive, very hot stars, or A stars, and they've all been systems which have debris disks. Right, so that uh, seems to indicate that uh, you may not want to go look for super Earths around these right in their centers, but if you want to go find big planets a long ways out, A stars with debris, debris disks look like the place to go and see them. Or so people thought.